Hey Twin Flames, it's Feather from Nurse Hill Live. Welcome if you just found me. Welcome back to my watchers and supporters. You guys are amazing. First things first, don't come in here holding on to expectations and outcomes too tightly. Take a deep breath. Release that garbage and let's see what messages come to us, okay? Also, I do talk about sex. I'm very straightforward and I cuss. If that's not for you, please click off now. I don't want to offend anybody. Now that the business is out of the way, uh, I am back. I'm doing readings. I've caught up on my personal readings and I am pumping out August readings. Uh, Twin Flame Tuesday. We're back on. I do apologize for missing a few weeks. <laughs> but um, I'm back on it. So Twin Flame Tuesday. I'm, I'm a day late. However, it's better late than never. And this is for energy from Tuesday, July 24, 2018 to July 30th, 2018, okay? I'm going to do, it's a picker card, of course. I'm changing it up, and I'm gonna do three, three piles. Now, Spirit has changed it up for me and has decided that they want me to put out a pick a card for Twin Flames. What are my blockages for Union? So these are things that maybe you need to work on right here before the full moon or during the full moon mm. and do some release and manifestation, okay? So what are my blockages for union? What are my blockages for union? Coming into union, uh, if you're in union, maybe some things that are going on in your life currently, some things that are going on uh, between you and, and your, uh, your twin flame. So let's get on it. So what are, for my Twin Flames watching this video, for the 24th of July to the 30th, 2018, what, uh, what are some blockages? Three. Okay. For those that pick pile one. Pile one. For those that pick pile one this one. For those that pick pile two. This one right here. And for those that pick pile three. Nope, not yet. Right there. All right. You can fast forward through this if you'd like. Blockages, blockages, things that that you may need to work on. Twin Flames, what are some blockages for Union for this week? What are some blockages that may need to be worked on for this week? For those who chose Pile 1, Pile 1. For those who chose Pile 2, right there, that one was upside down. I noticed it right away. And for those who chose Pile 3, whoa, sorry. Get a handle on it. All right. I am doing private readings. All of my information is in the description box down below if you want to get a hold of me. Also, Twin Flames, we have the uh, Good Vibe Tribe going on, uh, Facebook group. For those of you that <clears throat> need some, some extra attention or just like to keep in touch with other Twin Flames, please join me there. Some issues or some Things that are blocking, blocking, blockages from the Twin Flames. Last card, Pal 1. Last card for Pal 1. Last card. This one. Well, nope. No, not this one. This one. And Pal 2. And for those who chose file three, those who chose file three, right there, right there. All right. So my twins, remember this is general reading. If you'd like a private reading, just contact me. Want to know more specific? Um, remember, if you like the readings, give me a thumbs up. Or you know, if you don't like it. So what? Move on. But if you like it, let me know. That's how I know whether or not to keep doing these readings, okay? That's how I know. 
How I know. All right, so Twin Flames. For those of you who chose um, Pile One, blockages to union for this week. Find balance. You're not communicating. You need to find some balance. Wow, that is funny. Cause well, Twin Flame Union is balance, right? We need to find balance. Apparently, there is something off in your spoke. Whether or not it's your career, your finances, your home life, your whatever it is. You need to communicate or you need to find, communicate, balance. Maybe there needs to be some uh, balanced communication here. Whether or not you're, um, be mindful this week that you're communicating. You're, especially here during the full moon energy. Geez, oh Pete. Uh, make sure that you are communicating on a level-headed kind of playing field. Don't go out there just because you're emotional and just start spewing stuff to your twin flame. If your twin flame doesn't know they're a twin flame, don't go oh, don't go balls out on them because um, that you may you may damage them. You know you don't want to damage your union. You don't want to damage it. Let it flow naturally. If you are having an emotional time, get out in nature. Get away. Do something for yourself. But you need to find balance this week. Um, mysticism. <laughs> are you being... This is a blockage. Some of you, for mysticism and it being uh, purpley purple, which is crown chakra, uh, some of you need to either find with balance being right there. I'm going to say some of you need to find balance with your spiritualism. Some of you need to do some some release and manifest. Also, make sure that you're not too woo too woo woo over the top in into this into this twin flame union thing, okay? Yes, it is a thing and yes it is extremely incredible and it's amazing, but make sure that it's not running your life, okay? And don't freak out your twin flame. Why does spirit keep want me to say that to you? Whoever chose pile 1 Pay attention. Don't freak out your twin flame if they don't know about the twin flame journey. <laughs> let it happen gradually, okay? Just let do your thing. Let them do their thing. If you guys come together, that's incredible. But you don't have to just inundate somebody or overwhelm them with the information of the twin flame journey because they may just go like, what the F? This is too much. You are insane or... You don't want to freak anybody out. Just ease them into it, okay? Just because we know our journey doesn't mean that everybody else needs to know it, okay? Not everybody else would understand. It is what it is. All right, last. Whatever I desire, I can acquire. Are you having some doubts? Whatever I desire, I can acquire. That's a mantra for this week. Whatever I desire, I can acquire. Whatever I desire, I can acquire. Whatever I desire, I can acquire. What we think about, we bring about, right? The uh, eternal laws of the universe steadily hold the promise of expansion and joy. Understanding the laws will reawaken within you the knowledge of your purpose and your own personal power as you remember how to assess or access the power of the universe that creates worlds. Release and manifest baby dolls. This is July 27th, full moon week. Woo! If this time-space reality has within it the ability to inspire a desire within you, it is absolute that this time-space reality has the ability to yield you a full and satisfying manifestation at the same of that same desire. It is law. Well, I hope some of you got a message there. Okay? I really hope that you got a message there. Don't freak out your twin flame. Make sure you're not getting too deep in this woo-woo stuff and you're actually realizing that there are people around you that don't understand and it's okay to be um, spiritual and it's okay to be awakened. But remember, there are so many people that are not. Don't scare them, okay? Keep a balance. And don't get, don't get so caught up in it that you're not able to stay balanced. Keep a balance here in the, in, the, in the earth realm, in the tangible earth, in 3D. <sighs> not everybody understands. Stay balanced this week. Don't get so deep in your spiritualism, or maybe you need to get deeper into spiritualism. There's a block here. Either way, do some crown chakra work, do some manifesting, and definitely remember what we think about, what we bring about, okay? For those that pick pile two. Nine, seek. Wow. Awesome. So some blockages. 
Some of you are, um, nines are, are success. They're satisfaction. So are some of you not being satisfied or not satisfied. Some of you are not going within or not doing your work. I'm going to take that for seek because when I seek, I go inside. I listen to my internal voice. I listen to my gut. I listen to the flow. If you're not listening or you're not looking, how are you doing your work? So for this week, pay attention, okay? Um, and maybe some of you need to find some solace out in nature. Maybe you need to seek your satisfaction or your uh, go within while you are outside. Go out in nature, plant a tree, dig a hole, walk down the beach, go for a ride, go camping. Uh, just be out in nature, especially during this week of this full moon. Uh, July 27th, phew, right here, this energy right here, uh, go ground yourself, okay, you want to know, now, victim, are some of you, this is heart chakra, this is green, this is heart chakra, so, ugh. And we got a lot of green up here, so some of you people that chose Pile 2 need to work on your heart chakra. We need to work on our heart chakras, uh, and that could be going within and actually working on your heart chakra. But are you playing the victim here, some of you? Oh, my twin flame's not coming to me. I'm not attracting my twin flame because they're blah, 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 blah. They're not doing their work. They're not. The, 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 are you the victim of this? Because if you are, are living victim mentality inside this twin flame journey, I'm going to tell you, you're, you're not on the right path. You be honest with yourself and make sure you are not, look at yourself in the mirror and honestly say, I'm a divine being. It doesn't matter if I'm alone or with somebody. I am a divine being and I can be divine no matter where I'm at, no matter what I'm doing, as long as I'm living my truth of loving service and I am giving of myself, not people pleasing, and I am accepting my abundance. I am open and I am welcoming my abundance. Don't be playing the victim card here, people. Because you may not be in union. You may be in union. Whatever. Just make sure that you're not... Make sure that you're operating from a place of centeredness. And that you're not operating from a place of neediness. Codependency. Or anger. Ooh. Mm -mm. No, no. Let's get out of that. Let's work on our heart chakra here this week. Let's release and manifest during this full moon time. Spirit, my attention to unwanted, <laughs> my attention to unwanted attracts more unwanted. What? What? I just did a reading just this afternoon. It's so much on the on the same line as this. Uh, when we get better. We get, when we, when we're doing better, we get more better. We receive more better, whatever. And then uh, when we're doing worse, we get more worse. You attract what you think. You think, you think, you think, you manifest, you manifest, you manifest. So there's negative thoughts that I, I'm, I'm trying to tell you during the full moon reading I did the other day. Watch it. I'm going to put it on the end of this video. Watch it. Because it's so very important that we switch those negative thoughts into positive thoughts because we can ruin shit very swiftly with just a fraction of an action and a thought. Don't ruin things. For every pleasing thing, there is an unpleasing counterpart. For within every a part of, <laughs> I'm sorry, for within every particle of the universe is that which is wanted as well as the lack of that which is wanted. When you focus upon an unwanted aspect of something in an effort to push it away from you, it only comes closer because you get what you give your attention to, whether it is something that you want or not. It is up to you to focus upon and attract what is wanted. What you think about, you bring about. And that's a seven that's going to be challenges. Mm. Yeah, okay, so we got some challenges here. Uh, some of you are definitely attracting this crap. Um, work on your heart center this week and do and do some release work and manifesting. <coughs> Excuse me. What we think about, we bring about. My attention to unwanted attracts more unwanted. 
when you think, oh, this person is doing me wrong, or this, and my, my twin flame is not coming into union with me, and oh, and this and that and the other, blah, 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 blah. You're going to continue to pull that in because you're not operating from self love. You're not, or unconditional love. Like, dude, they're on their own journey. Dude, they got to do what the hell they got to do. Dude, I need to focus on me and not worry about them because I am doing what I need to do straight up and down, regardless of what's going on in their life. I am happy living myself, my life, independent, doing what I got to do, regardless if I ever come into union with my twin flame. It doesn't matter if your twin flame is a relationship or a romantic ship, okay? Love ship, partnership, friendship, family ship, it doesn't matter. Your twin flame does not have to be with you. I know we want that. And a lot of us are out here wanting that, oh, they're the ultimate soulmate. Yeah. Twin flame journey is a hell of a lot harder than just, like, rom don't romanticize the journey is what I'm saying, okay? Be mindful of what you bring about. You are thinking it, so you're bringing it, okay? And maybe that's what you need to go in. To be satisfied, you need to go inside. Get out in nature. Let, let go of this crap. All right, for those of you that chose my my rambling <laughs> I'm kidding uh, pile three eight that's evolution baby reevaluation and moving from one phase to another and this is success and growth congratulations this week you've got some growth going on you are doing your work you're on your path <sighs> maybe you've just decided self I am detaching from linear time Thank you, Crazy Carrie, for that. I stole that from my Crazy Carrie. Um, you detach from linear time, and you're cool with whatever comes your way. If it ever comes your way, you're good because you know you are in line with your purpose. You are focused, and you are prepared, or you preparing yourself. So that success and growth is awesome, okay? Keep moving forward. Let's see what else you got for this week. Growth, oh my God. How did that happen? How about some validation? That is validation. That is you blockages. This this is good because perhaps you have a blockage in the growth area. But eights are evolution, so you're evolving or perhaps you need to reevaluate your success and your growth. Okay, during this week Maybe um, if this is a blockage for you to come into union, you're not doing your maybe you're not doing your work. But it's a reevaluation or evolution. So I'm looking at the numerology here going, you know, hmm, I take that back. Thank you, spirit. It's a blockage. So your blockage is evolution or moving from one face to the next. You are not being successful and you're not growing. I do apologize. Didn't mean to get you all excited. I was excited there for a second, but I forgot what my question was. So I was just reading cards. You are, um, your blockage to coming into union is, hmm, some of, yeah, this was for me actually. This you are not growing. You're not doing what you need to grow. You're not uh, evolving or moving from one place to the other. What are you looking at in the past? You're you looking at the past. Are you looking at things from the past? You need to actually focus forward. You need to turn yourself around and focus forward. Whatever this growth is right here. This, you're not earning enough money. You're not paying your bills. Um, you're not doing some kind of growth. This is heart and this is, uh, this is purple, which is crown chakra. So we got crown chakra issues going on so you're not opening yourself up to energy or higher higher power higher self you're not listening to your you're not listening to your instincts or your spirit team and uh, and heart chakra so you're you're not growing in some way with within your heart so you're not opening yourself up you're just you're just closing yourself off for some reason or some something this week work on that do some meditation get out of nature also get out of nature and and kind of open up those heart that heart space don't close yourself off because if you close yourself off or you're not learning your lessons maybe you're not learning your lessons or maybe you're not living your truth or your passion in some way you're not growing spiritually or um emotionally 
So this week you need to work on those blockages. Wow. Then we got the physical me is materialized spirit. <sighs> Some say that you should not want money at all because the desire for money is materialistic and not spiritual. Did I not just say some of you... <sighs> some say that you should not want money at all because the desire for money is materialistic and not spiritual. But we want you to remember that you are here in this very physical world where, where spirit has materialized. Yes, you cannot separate yourself from the aspect of yourself that is spiritual. And while you are here in, this, in these bodies, you cannot separate yourselves from that which is physical or material. All of the magnificent things of a physical nature that are surrounding you are spiritual in nature. <sighs> that's, that's challenges, change, and chaos. So there's some of you that are definitely not able to pay your bills, not paying your bills, not doing something. <clears throat> in, in Maybe you're not putting yourself out there Maybe you're not going to work. Maybe you're not putting yourself out there to get a job. Whatever it is this week, you need to focus on what it is. And it's money related. So success and growth. And then, of course, I, I feel that you need to work on your heart chakra here because, well, it's green. And um, you could be closing yourself off. You, you're nervous. You're scared. Your emotions are closing off. Let's not do that. You need to keep open. You need to stay open so that you can receive your abundance, okay? And you need to manifest and release whatever these money issues are, okay? Yes, we may be spiritual beings. Yes, we're twin flames. Yes, but we are we are divine, of course, but we still got to have money to live in this material world, all right? You worry about the fifth dimension and all that shit later on. What you need to worry about now is how you're going to pay your electric bill and feed your kids, okay? So, whew. All right, go. I hope, I hope that you guys got a message from this. Uh, if you have any questions, please uh, comment down below. If you like this reading, give me a thumbs up. I'll keep doing them. Of course, all of my contact information is in the description box down below the video. So if you'd like a private reading, if you'd like to email me, nourishhilllive at gmail.com, please follow me on Instagram and join the Facebook group so we can keep in touch. Okay, people? Until next week, go in peace. Namaste.